want to do after we clean the weight and get our hips in position, I want this hand and this elbow to be as close to over this hip as possible, which then goes over that bottom foot. So it sort of makes a straight line to support the weight with skeletal structure before I move into the actual movement of the bent press itself. As I shift the hips back and rotate underneath the weight to complete the bent press, that line of force shifts, or line of support I should say is probably better, it shifts from this leg to this leg. So that by the time I'm in the bottom, this foot and knee come up, meet the shoulder, which meets with this shoulder, which meets with the straight arm overhead, and I got a straight line of support over this foot. The elevation of the weight doesn't really change during the execution of the bent press. It may kind of orbit around and rotate a little bit from here further behind me, but the elevation doesn't really change. So it looks like this. So I've got the straight line going over this foot. Elbow is pretty close to that hip. And as I fold in position, it winds up over my other foot in a straight line. And then from there, I just stand up. So at the bottom, you're actually looking all the way up to the uh, bell? Yes, I look up at the bell in the general direction of the kettlebell the whole time. Because okay. if I don't, I tend to not rotate at the shoulders and the T-spine as much as I need to to complete the lift. Awesome.